Hi, and welcome back. In today's video, I want to walk through how companies can prepay expenses. For example, a company can decide um, to pay car insurance, let's say. Let's say they have a fleet of vehicles and they want to prepay that insurance at the beginning of the year. They can do that, however, they cannot record that entire expense in one period. So I want to walk through with you the specifics of how this works and why they do it. With that, let's get started. Okay, hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about prepaid expenses. So a company can decide to pay for, let's say insurance on a yearly or semi-annual basis. Uh, so as individuals, we tend to see that we pay expenses on a monthly basis. You know, like when I get my car insurance, I don't typically pay for that a year up front or six months up front. I pay it on a monthly basis. But a company or an individual could decide that they want to prepay it. And however, even if we were to do that, in keeping a set of books and doing accrual accounting, we have to recognize one month of expense at a time even if we prepay it. So let's see how this will work. A company decides to prepay a $24,000 insurance bill for the entire year at the beginning of the year. A financial event has absolutely taken place. And what accounts do we use? We will use prepaid insurance and cash. Do we have more or less of prepaid insurance? We have more of it. Do we have more or less of cash? We have less. So let's check uh, the logic of our journal entry. So for the cash account, we will credit it for $24,000 because we now have less cash. We've actually paid a bill. So $24,000 has gone out the door. And so we will credit that because its normal balance is a debit. And in order to decrease it, we credit it. For prepaids, Prepaid insurance is classified as an asset, so its normal balance is a debit. So to increase it and add more to it, we have a $24,000 debit. So we have $24,000 debit to prepaid insurance, and we have $24,000 credit to cash, so we balance. Now, at the end of the period, what is the adjustment that we have to make for prepaid insurance? The financial event has taken place, absolutely. And what accounts do we use? We will use prepaid insurance and we will use insurance expense. Do we have more or less of prepaid insurance? We're now going to start decreasing that balance in our prepaid insurance. And do we have more or less of insurance expense? We have more. So let's check our logic. $24,000 over 12 months is going to be $2,000 per month that we need to recognize as insurance expense. So well, how do we do this? So the insurance expense is an expense, classified as an expense, and its normal balance is a debit. So to have more insurance expense, we would debit that account for $2,000, just the amount of the monthly charge. Then our prepaid insurance, since it's an asset, normal balance of a debit, in order to start decreasing it or have less in that account, we would credit it for the $2,000. So our journal entry, we have $2 debit to insurance expense and $2,000 credit to prepaid insurance. So at the end of this month, this very first month, in our prepaid insurance account, we will have had that original $24,000 in there Plus, we're going to have a $2,000 credit. So the balance at the end of the first month in our prepaid insurance is going to represent the remaining 11 months of $2,000 per month that we will be recognizing over the rest of the year. So here's a recap. Prepaid expenses are something that we can pay ahead on. And you may see prepaid insurance, you may see prepaid rent, there's all kinds of things that we could prepay. However, only one month of expense can be recognized at a time on the income statement. And with that, that's the end of our prepaid expense conversation, and we'll be moving on to another one. I appreciate your time. Thank you.